Welcome back to my new video. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about how we can add SSL um, certificates to our endpoint. So the goal here is to add this letter padlock, okay, to our endpoint. And it's going to tell you connection is secured. Okay, so as you can see, this um, certificate was verified by Digiset INC. Okay, if you click on it, um, it should give us more information, view certificate. And then you can see more details. It, the issuer name is Digiset. This is the common name. And um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of information around it. Um, you can check digiset.com. It should give us more information about this uh, issuers. Um, yeah, so basically that is it. Um, the whole idea is we want to secure our endpoint. Okay. Um, so before we start, we're going to install um, Nginx Ingress Controller. Um, so you can visit this uh, website to check how to install it. There is um, a quick start on how to install some of these things, but I've prepared a, um, a shell script that will help install all this stuff for us. So you can check them out. It has content for AWS, GC, GKE, Azure, Digital Ocean, and the rest. And um, also, if you look at the um, this URL set hyphen manager.io, you can see more information about this set manager. And you can see there are various issuers like Less Encrypt, HashiCorp, Vinafi TPP, and then they all integrate or sync with the issuers. So this is the set manager. And then the certificates are issued to protect these uh, URLs, foo.bar.com, example.com, www.example.com, issued by let's encrypt hyphen prod. Yeah, so there's more information on how you can configure this. You click on, let's say, ACME, HTTP 01 introduction. You see how to configure the HTTP 01 ingress solver. So this is the issuer. So you can look through, but if you don't have that time, I'm going to show you how you can um, add this little padlock um, to our endpoint. So let's jump into the IDE. Um, where is it? Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, um, I have various files. Um, let me close down this. Yeah, so as you can see, I have this um, shell script right here. This one is going to create a namespace for us. And we're going to add these two repo. Um, that is the JSTack stack, as well as the Nginx using HEM. And then we're going to install the ingress, uh, Nginx ingress controller. And then we update our HEM repo. And then we are going to use um, the set, we're going to install the set manager, but we are going to use this version 1.8.0. And then um, we are also going to create a namespace called set manager. So this is the flag we pass, create namespace. And then we add this extra parameter called install custom resource definitions. Okay, we add this flag to it. And then we sleep for some five seconds and then we switch to the Nginx v2 namespace. Okay, so that is all for this um, installation. So we are installing the JSTAC Nginx controller as well as the set manager. So I'm going to run this. I already have um, a Kubernetes um, cluster already running. kubectl get nodes.
Okay, so I already have this running. These two nodes are ready to go. I'm going to just click on this little green icon, run file. You see, this two repos already exist, so it's not going to install it. This one, just stack and Nginx. I already installed it. Um, so in your case, it's going to install it. So you should be aware of that. So now, as you can see, it's updating the HEM repo. After the update is successful, it's going to install the set manager. So we have to wait for that as well. Yeah, so as you can see, the set manager with this version has been deployed successfully. And then it says what, in order to begin issuing certificates, you will need to set up a cluster issuer or issuer resource, for example, by creating let's encrypt staging. You see in the other slide or screen, we, we saw um, let's en encrypt staging as well as production. So, and it also tells you that you should visit this URL and, um, and this URL as well. You see also we switch the context to Nginx um, hyphen um, V2. Okay, so basically that is the installation. We are good to go. Um, we switch to our terminal. Okay, so I'm going to switch to traffic, switch to set manager where I have all my files. Okay, so we are able to install um, the set manager as well as the, the JSTAC and then the Nginx controller. So here we are going to install um, set manager certificate deployment and um, issuer prod and then issuer stage. So these are the uh, files we are going to install. So what I'm going to do first is say, I'm going to say cube. Um, let me look at the namespace currently. Okay. I'm going to say um, cube CTL get all. And then the namespace is what set manager. You see, as we install the set manager using the HEM chat, you see we have these three ports that are currently running, as well as these two service, the set manager service, and then the set manager webhook, and then these three deployments. They are currently running in this set manager namespace. But currently we don't have anything running in Nginx v2 namespace. Okay, so we are going to do that. So I'm going to say kubectl apply hyphen f. Then I'm going to install the issuer stage as well as the issuer prod. Okay, I'm going to install this. So these two set managers have been created. So I'm going to install um, CM certificate as well as um, 
deployment. So all these have been created. So I'm going to say, get all, get all. So as you can see, we have these two uh, ports that are currently running. One is what Certificate Manager Acme HTTP Solver. This is going to go away. Um, so let's um, say get ingress. So as you can see, this Acme HTTP Solver is going to go away. Um, as soon as we add this IP address to um, our GoDaddy uh, DNS, so we are going to point this host to this IP address in our GoDaddy um, uh, platform. Okay, so let's switch to that um, space. Okay, so this is my GoDaddy DNS management um, UI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select A, type A, and then put in demo.aerogram.io and then paste in the IP address and then add and then say yes and then save. So it's going to take some time to sync. I uh, say it could take up to 48 hours, but I'm not sure. I'm sure some few minutes it should be ready. So now let's switch back to our IntelliJ IDA. So what is going to happen here is I'm going to open the deployment. Okay, let me start with the issuer stage. So the issuer stage is, um, you see the kind is what cluster issuer, which is global to the entire cluster. And then the name is what let's encrypt staging. And then the server is what Acme staging. Okay. And then you make sure that this URL is right. You get it right. And then the email, this is what they're going to send you frequent updates in case you need to renew your certificate or something like that. And then the name of the private key secret is what let's encrypt staging. And then the solver ingress class is Nginx. That's why we have to install that Nginx controller. So let's look at the issuer prod, which is very similar to the staging, but the name is now let's encrypt production. And then we comment out the Acme staging and then we put in the real production URL. Okay. And let's encrypt.org forward slash directory. And then we pass in our email address, the same name, let's encrypt hyphen production, and then the engineer's controller. Okay. So let's look at the certificate. The certificate is for the kind of certificate. And then the name is demo.aerogram.io. The duration is 90 days by default. And then it can be renewed before um, 15 days. The secret name we are giving to um, this certificate is what demo.aerogram.io. And then this is our DNS name we just pointed our application to. And then the reference is what let's en encrypt production. And then the kind is what cluster issuer. Okay. Now let's go to the deployment. A deployment, we just have one deployment. The kind is deployment, one replica set. And then the image is this one. Okay, this one, hello app colon 2.0, running on container port 8080. And then we create our service. Our service, remember the type is what cluster IP. And this is our ingress controller. Okay, so we, we add some annotations, um, some annotations, but um, this one is the Nginx um, annotation. 
and the certificate manager cluster issuer we are pointing to less encrypt production and then we are also pointing to rewrite target forward slash and um, I don't think we're making use of this yet. I'll do this in the next video. We don't. We are not adding any authentication to our um, endpoint, so I'm going to comment all this out. So we just have these three annotations, and then our host is demo.erogram.io, and then it's pointing to. Um, API forward slash V1. So what it means is that once um, we're going to we're going to add this. So this is the entire URL we are looking at. Okay. So let me take out this, and then it's going to point to our backend service, my service, on port eighty, and then we are adding a TLS to our host with this secret name. Okay, so basically that is all very simple and straightforward. Maybe in the future video, I'll add how we can um, add a basic um, authentication to our endpoint or URL. Okay, um, so let me redeploy the um, our deployment files, which is um, apply deployment. Okay, so. It looks good. So what I'm going to do now is to get all okay. You see the pod is the pod is now running. So we can scale this um pod to let's say five rep replica sets is being scaled, and then we can also check the ingress ingress controller you see that um acme http server has disappeared okay so now you can see the port 80 and 443 meaning that we have ssl uh, port working um this is the http and this is the https okay um what else can we look at we can also look at get um i think it's cluster issuer you see the two uh, cluster issuers is uh, production and staging we can also look at um, um certificate okay you can look at certificate cluster issuer this is the certificate and it's ready. The um, cluster issuer, staging and production also ready. And then the Nginx is also, um, or, the, or the ingress is also ready, but we don't have any challenge. So we don't have any um, output for it. So I think we are good. Okay, so let's also look at the ingress. Um, let me see get all in the set manager namespace. Okay, yeah, so everything looks the same. Um, everything looks the same. So let's check again for our Nginx V2 namespace. You see now we have four, uh, five replica sets. You see five out of five. And um, yeah, so I think that is it. This is the image we are looking at. Um, yeah, so I think that is it. So now we can visit our um, so I'm going to visit this URL http s colon forward slash demo aerogram.io forward slash API forward slash V1. So if I hit enter, you see, now we can see the image, the information. These are the ports. 
and then the version and this message. So if I refresh, you see, it keeps changing. Okay. Okay, so let's keep refreshing and then you see that it, it will keep changing, you see? So you can see the little padlock at the top. You can see now, it says what um, connection is secured and then the certificate is valid. So if I click on this, you can see that um, it was issued by R3 expires in August 20, 23, 2022. Um, you can see the organization is less encrypt. And the other one we look at was Digiset. Um, it's, it's a trusted, you can see that there's a green little green little icon that the certificate is valid. Yeah, so you can check all this information. You can see that it's coming from lessencrypt.org. Okay, so basically that is it. Um, so this is how you add. Um, so let's visit a different URL on a different browser. So let me go to a new, let me say https forward slash demo dot aerogram dot io forward slash api forward slash v1. Enter. So as you can see, so as you can see, now you can see the padlock here also, meaning that the connection is secured and you are securely connected to this site and verified by less encrypt more information. You see, if you view certificate, it says the organization is what less encrypt. The common name is R3. Yeah, and so on. So you can check all this other meta information. Okay. Yeah. So basically that is it. Um, yeah, so our connection is secured just like this one. You see, connection is secured, verified by less encrypt. If you check this one, it says connection is secured, verified by Digiset INC. Okay, so that is it. Um, I think you've, you've learned something new today. And um, if you like this video, please um, like and share. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that once I add any new video, you get a notification um, um, icon or bell. Um, yeah, so until then, I'll see you in the next one.